Hey guys, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com and the US Tech Channel. Today we're looking at the Nexus Orb. This is a Qi enabled, uh, spelled QI, uh, charger. It allows us to wirelessly charge uh, Qi enabled devices like the Nexus 4, which it really came out to uh, complement. Uh, I have this one mounted in my vehicle. I've changed uh, from the Nokia DT900 uh, over to this one, which is a uh, charging pad. Now, all of these things have various uh, inputs. The house charger with this, I mean, it uses a micro USB and the uh, AC charger for your home uh, outputs 5 volts at 1.8 amps. I did try another charger that outputted 5 volts and just 1 amp, and it still uh, works. So right now I have it hooked into uh, my vehicle. It comes out back around and plugs into this, which is just an output of 1 amp. I will go ahead and upgrade that so I can get the maximum uh, potential out of this. Uh, if it has an input of 1.8 amps, it should be able to output at least uh, 1 amp, which will charge uh, most phones uh, at a, a normal uh, rate. Here I have the Verizon version of the Galaxy Note 2. We've added the Qi enabled uh, receiver pad uh, so that it can be used with this. Of course, this does have a magnetic base. It comes shipped with a little plastic wrap. Uh, if you're trying to use that to test it out, uh, pretty much it will not stick at all with that on it. So go ahead and take that wrapping off. Um, in the user manual, it says it supports uh, two uh, positions, uh, either vertical or horizontal. You can see it's charging right there. We get the little notification. And you can go horizontal, and it would charge if I could fit this huge behemoth of a phone in that position. Um, upside down, uh, depending on if you get it just centered around that thing, it would probably work as well. Uh, this is really sticky around here, this rubberized uh, piece uh, in the center. Pretty much all of this is rubberized. Uh, so with the magnet and that rubberized piece, I don't think I'll have a problem with this flying uh, off uh, the mount. Uh, this has like a rubberized uh, TPU cover on it right now as you can see. So this is a good solution for in-vehicle. Uh, not as easy as the Nokia versions which take a 12 volt input which you could just wire directly to your vehicle so you will have to have some kind of adapter and uh, it is a better solution than the WCP700 which is the version of the uh, LG uh, charger that is sold at Verizon. That one takes an input voltage of 18 volts. This is uh, made by LG, or at least the box says so. I don't know if they outsourced it. But so, for more information on things like this, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Helps us out a lot. Allows us to be able to make these videos. Thanks.